Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 16.6 beta 4 release today to developers on all iOS 16 supported devices. iOS 16.6 beta 4 is out to developers and soon to public beta testers as it's typically released the same day or the next day. Now this is available everywhere around the world at the same time for the iPhone 8, 8 plus all the way up to the 11 pro 14 pro max and is currently supported as iOS 17 won't support some of the older devices. Now this came in at a fairly small 430.9 megabytes on the 14 pro and was about the same size as well on the iPad that I have it installed on as well. Along with this, Apple also released iPad OS 16.6 beta 4, watch OS 9.6 beta 4, HomePod OS and TV OS 16.6 beta 4 and Mac OS 13.5 beta 4. All of those are available to developers now, as well as a couple older Mac updates as well. Now let's take a look at the build number and talk about what's new. So we'll go to settings, then general, then about, you can see the build number is 20G 5058D. And many have been concerned that the letter isn't changing. Typically, as we get closer to a final release, maybe this would change to a C or even an A, and then we'll get the release candidate next. However, we have seen them jump recently directly to a release candidate. So I really wouldn't worry about that. It seems to sort of have gone out the window as far as bringing that letter down to an A before the next release. We'll talk about when to expect the release candidate a little bit later. As far as new features and updates, well, there is no new modem update in beta four coming from beta three. It's the same version 1.8. 0.01 on the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max. It can vary depending on device. As far as new features, well, one thing we're not seeing again is the contact key verification. If we go into settings and look for contact key verification, you won't see it here like we did with beta one. It was actually showing up in settings, but just not physically. However, Apple could have moved that to iOS 17. They announced it some time ago. You can see more about it on their website. I'll link it in the description, but it will basically allow you to verify that you're talking to the actual person you have a contact for. So that's just more sort of privacy and safety verification there. So it'll have that hopefully in this version, maybe in iOS 17. However, we are seeing a bunch of little changes within this update specifically to do with wording. So maybe Apple's bringing more, but the wording specifically could have to do with Siri and education. Also possibly savings accounts from more countries or possibly different banks or something else. We did hear that Apple may be working with India to bring Apple card there. And so maybe they're working for savings accounts elsewhere within the world. And if you haven't seen that, if I go into wallet and you can see, I have the savings account set up and then you can see more information about it. So maybe they're doing this around the world. We also have wording changes for account recovery keys, health and medication, as well as the home app and matter accessories. So no physical changes. It seems at iOS 16.6 beta four, what they're waiting for probably is just to push all those features to iOS 17. Usually we have more features by now later, as far as the betas go, this has been very sparse so far. As far as other updates today, well, I mentioned all the other beta updates, but Apple also updated windows apps, Apple device preview, Apple music preview and Apple TV preview. So if you're checking those out, you should have updates for that on windows as well. As far as camera improvements, we aren't hearing much with iOS 16. However, some people have said that iOS 17 is a different story with iOS 17. Some are seeing much better camera improvements. However, there's no switch yet for HDR or anything else. I'll be testing that further a little bit later, but it seems 16.6 probably has no difference there at all. While iOS 16.6 seems to be fairly refined, there's still a notification bug. They haven't fixed this yet. Everything sort of just pops into place and it's not working as you would expect. It's not smooth and fluid like typical iOS is. So make sure you report that in feedback. If you haven't already, iOS 17 still has this issue as well. As far as overall bug fixes, there's not a whole lot there. And if we go into our feedback app, we'll give it a second to load. We'll go into recent activity and you'll see iOS 16.6 beta four. You can check this out publicly. I'll link it in the description, but they haven't changed the known issues here. So we still have the first matter accessory issue as far as pairing them and also some known issues for Xcode. Nothing's really been updated there. As far as security updates, we can expect those when this releases to the public. However, we already had 16.5.1 and with iOS 16.5.1, they brought a few important security updates. So we can expect a couple more, but we do have those security response updates and maybe Apple will release some of those.
As far as overall performance, well, it seems to be fine. There's really no difference here that I can tell between beta three and beta four. However, I did run a Geekbench test. We'll check that in a moment. And the heat of the device, I checked it right after updating. It was nice and cool. So that's good, a good sign. It's not processing heavily. However, it wasn't a full update. It was a smaller install. Most of the big features are in iOS 17, like I've mentioned. As far as battery life, I did have a user send me his battery life who's using 16.6 full time, but we'll take a closer look at that probably later in the week. And thanks to Nate for sending this along. It's on a 14 pro max with hundred percent battery life. You'll see he had seven hours and 34 minutes of screen active time yesterday and used only about 75% of his battery and also had 41 minutes of screen idle time. That's pretty great for that phone. Also today, after installing the update with beta four, he still has two hours and 13 minutes of screen active time and still hasn't even used 25% of his battery. So his battery has actually been pretty good for an iPhone 14 pro max. Now, if you're wondering if you should install iOS 16.6 beta four at this point, if you're on the 16.6 betas, then absolutely just update it to beta four. However, I would probably wait for iOS 17 public beta. We expect those within a week or so. So iOS 17 beta three is expected about next week sometime, maybe around Tuesday or Wednesday. And then usually the public beta is the same day or very close to that. So we could see that we don't really have exact dates yet. Apple hasn't said, but they did say July for the public beta. And it's usually a two week cycle since we had iOS 17 beta two last week, we can expect beta three next week. As far as iOS 16.6 release candidate or possibly beta five, usually after beta four, we have weekly releases sometimes after beta three, but at this point we're at beta four, I would expect an update next week, whether that's the release candidate or beta five, I would expect a public release of iOS 16.6 sometime in July. And if Apple continues to do what they normally do, I would expect an iOS 16.7 beta throughout August, and then probably releasing sometime in September. Also, we'll have the final release of iOS 17 typically in September. So lots to look forward to a lot of different updates. As far as benchmarks, I have today's benchmark on the right with beta four, and I have a screenshot from the same device that I used for beta three. So I just wanted to show them side by side. It's a little bit easier to see. We have 2,562 for single core on today's beta four update and 2,553 on beta three. Today, we also have 6,692 for multi-core compared to 5,701. This is a huge jump up compared to before. So performance should be much better. Now, as far as all of that combined with battery life, it will take a few days to know that. But as far as anything else, there's not a whole lot more to talk about with iOS 16.6 beta four. If you found anything else though, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, of course, I'll link it in the description like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.